Well, hey there, folks. It's Jimmy Stewart here, hoping this is finding you guys all doing well. Happy August. Yes, we are already in August. Where is the summer going? Next thing you know, I'll be out there plowing and shoveling snow. It just seems to go by so fast and so quickly. I don't know, guys. Anyway, uh, as you can tell, if you've been watching the channel, if you've been here before, we have an empty guitar stand here. I know what you're all thinking. And it's true. Folks, an empty guitar stand means in this particular channel, it's New Guitar, guitar day. day. Yes, it's New Guitar Day. Uh, and we're getting awfully close to getting pretty full in this here studio. So what I'm thinking is that eventually I'm going to have to thin the herd. And honestly, I hate doing that because I just love guitars and I don't want to get rid of any. But I might have to box some up and do something at some point in time. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Uh, today is New Guitar Day, so we're adding to the arsenal. And folks, what I'm talking about, well, before we do that, let's take a look at the quick B-roll and uh, see the opening as the guitar arrived last evening. Let's have a look. Well, here we are. If you're new to the channel, that's Mr. Odin. And this is a surprise new guitar. So if you are not aware, this is David, David Leatherman. He is my official box opener. And we are going to get a little B-roll going here. B-roll time here in the studio. Here we are. Okay, we got that open. Thank you, Mr. David, for your service to the country. And there's Mr. Odin. Odin, get out of there, please. Let Dad, let Daddy get the top off the. You gonna let me get it? You're not gonna let me get it. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Come on. Uh, Mr. Odin, you're holding up the guitar, the unboxing here. Mr. Odin, you're holding up the box opening. You don't care, do you? You don't care? You're going to get off of there? Come on. Get down. Get down off of there. Come on. You can get back in the box later. Ow. No bites. No bites. Come on. Ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Get off of that guitar. Come on. Get. Odin. Mr. Odin. Get off Daddy's guitar. Come on. Come on. All right, we got Mr. Roden off of there. Oh, what do we have here? Okay. Well, we'll figure it all out for New Guitar Day here in the studio, folks. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Mr. Odin says hi to everybody. Uh... You know, he did not want to get off that box, but we convinced him eventually. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Odin? Huh? What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? Can you say New Guitar Day? Can you say New Guitar Day? Yes, you can. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Good boy. But today's edition, today's New Guitar Day, and I'm talking about this guy right here, folks. It is the new version of the Firefly FFLS. The LS, the clone copy of the B&G Little Sister. And this is lovely. It really is. Now, they came out with these, I think it was last year. 
and I did not jump on them then. Um, I decided I was going to wait, and i uh, kind of glad I did because this is the newer version of the FFLS, and uh, they've done a couple of things to upgrade this, and we'll talk about them as we go through. For those unfamiliar with what this is actually based on, uh, there was a small boutique company out of Israel uh, called B&G Guitars. Now, they do a boutique version of this, either in the Florentine cutaway like this or the non-cutaway. And it is a spectacular guitar, folks. Uh, but it's pretty pricey. You know, I'm going to put a picture up here. Uh, they run about $4,500 with a case, of course. But what a lovely looking guitar. Uh, really nice exotic woods that they use. They use all brass hardware, etc., etc., etc. Very, very nice. And if you've got that $4,500 to put down on that particular guitar, bless you, go for it. Uh, I'm not condemning it. It is a wonderful guitar. Now, B&G did since then, when they first arrived uh, a couple of years ago, they decided to go ahead and do a uh, less expensive version of the B&G. They call it the Crossroads uh, on the little sister. They also have a stepsister, I think, and a couple of other models. But uh, this is the one we're talking about. They did a Crossroads version of it, and they did source that out to uh, Chinese guitar factories. And I'll show a picture of that as well. Again, a little less exotic in the wood selection, of course. Uh, a little less in the, uh, in the hardware. But a very, very, very nice guitar. And again, you're looking at around $1,400, $1,500 for that particular model as well. But it does include a gig bag. But very, very nice. Again, lovely. So uh, Firefly last year came out with their version of it. And here it is here, although this is the new version of it. And this is what they've done uh, to beef it up just slightly. They went with stainless steel frets on this, uh, the ball ends, which is absolutely lovely. And they did upgrade the pickups. These are the P90s. These are the El Nico 5 pickups that they put in here. Uh, and that's what they've changed. Now, this guitar right out of the box, folks, I opened it up last night. I let it acclimate overnight to do the review and demo today. You will look at this. This is the transparent yellow version. It's kind of got an orange yellow tint to it. It has a uh, flamed maple top. This is a book match top. It looks really, really good. The book matching on this was done beautifully. It is a mahogany body with a mahogany set neck. And of course, the unusual and cool headstock on here. Uh, think old Delta Blues, think uh, classical guitar with the open slotted headstock with the tuners faced backwards. Very, very cool. Uh, the guitar is absolutely lovely in weight and in size. Think a little stretched out version of an LP. This is a semi-hollow. It's listed on their website as, as fully hollow. It is not, is more of a chambered guitar because you have a block that comes down here. I can actually feel it so that you can mount your bridge and, of course, mounting the soap bar P90s. Uh, they did black out the F-holes. These are reversed F-holes, like the B&G, uh, with a trapeze-style uh, mounting down here um, with a tunematic here, a set of P90s, simple volume and tone control with a three-way switch. A very nice cutout for access up here. This neck meets at the 14th fret which is very similar to the B&G. Uh, it is a 24.75 scale. Almost feels like a parlor type of guitar. The fretboard feels wonderful. Again, you got stainless steel frets with the ball ends. You got a bound fingerboard with a bone nut that's cut very, very well. And like I said, the uh, intricate uh, open stock headstock here, the open slotted headstock. Um, the one con. And this is probably the reason I didn't pick it up right off the bat when I first saw these uh, last year when they came out. They ended up using a ABS or a plastic style uh, tuning rod here instead of a metal rod. Uh, you know, you got to keep the cost down. I understand that. Um, you know, I wasn't very happy about that. Um, but honestly, as the more I look at it, the more I think it's going to be fine. I mean, as long as you can change your strings and everything is good, uh, 
It doesn't seem to be any detrimental. It would look cool if those were the same, like a metal hardware, uh, brass colored or, or uh, gold colored going through there. But, uh, you know, other than that, uh, this thing looks absolutely wonderful. And honestly, the more I look at it, the more it's not going to bother me. But they are plastic. I thought, and I think still, if you want to upgrade this, folks at Firefly George, uh, go brass on these or go at least metal to match the uh, gold hardware. And on the, and this is actually very nice as well. If you look at the B&G, they got a nice little sister embroidery here. I know that Firefly can't do that, but maybe an FF stamped in there or something, you know, dress it up just a little bit. Other than that, drop dead gorgeous, and it's still gorgeous in my opinion. Um, your truss rod is down here on a slotted wheel. Again, a set of soap bar P90s. For all the geeks out there, I did do some measurements for you. Uh, we looked at the nut measurement here, uh, just under that 43, so it's a 43 millimeter at the nut. You're talking around 54 or so. Again, here's the photo of it up here at the 12th fret. It feels very, very comfortable. The neck is not huge. Uh, not like, for instance, a classical guitar or, or even a, an acoustic guitar. It is smaller. Uh, it is not as deep. I was surprised. I put as many of my different uh, radius scale pieces on here because I thought maybe 14 to 16 or something like that. And it is not. It, it comes closest to 12, which is great. The fretboard feels wonderful. You've got enough room down here to play with it, uh, to finger pick with it. Uh, again, think old Delta Blues. This can, guitar could probably do most of that kind of stuff very, very well. We, of course, will plug it in and get some tone checks and do all that. And before we do that, though, folks, let me give you the up-close tour, up and personal, on the new Firefly FFLS. Let's take a look. Okay, folks, so here's the up-close and personal on the new Firefly FFLS. They're their clone copy or their version of the little sister here. And as you can see, this is just a drop dead gorgeous guitar. You've got the uh, flamed maple top here in transparent orange. Really nicely book matched. Your single volume and tone controls with a three way switch. Reversed F holes. Along with the trapeze type of. Uh, string bridge mount down there with an ABR style tunematic. With a pair of soap bar P90s. These are El Nico 5s on the new version of this. And you can see your truss adjustments down here on the uh, on the slotted wheel. Stainless steel frets on a rosewood fretboard bound obviously and your dot inlays going up this is a 24 and three quarter 24.75 scale uh, similar to a gibson a very nice nicely done nicely cut uh, bone nut there and your older delta style open slotted headstock with your tuning keys uniquely done on the side with your gold hardware. A very nice logo from Firefly on the top there and your slightly concaved headstock. And this is a maple, flamed maple top on a mahogany body and mahogany neck. Very, very cool. Let me flip this around for you so I can show you. You've got the Florentine cutaway on this, of course. There's that unique headstock up there. Again, slotted vintage style, like an old Delta, almost like a classical guitar. Mahogany neck with a set neck, obviously. Your Florentine type of cutaway there. 
The body is a mahogany body. This appears, as you can see, through the transparent. And I'll show you a quick photo of it. It appears to be a two-piece body. Your control access plate there for the, your uh, full-size pots that are in there. And your three-way switch. Just a really binding on the sides, of course. A very nicely done from the folks at uh, Firebird Music and Firefly Guitars. The FFLS. Beautiful. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the up close and personal on the FFLS. We are going to uh, do a quick check on tune here. Let me get this plugged in. And uh, hopefully everything holds tune well. I, I haven't had any issues. Again, I just took it out of the box last night. And uh, I gave it a quick tune last evening. And it seems to be holding well. No issues at all. It's got a very resonant feel to it when you're playing it unplugged. Kind of an earthy tone to it, and I like that. Feels great. All right, so we're going to check this out with the Monoprice 15, of course, and uh, my Celestion. Uh, V30 cabinet sitting there. We will go to a nice clean patch and see what we've got here on the new FFLS. Uh, let's see. Ooh. I'm currently in the middle position using both of the P90s here. up to the bridge. Back to the middle. Sounds great. Now I did open this up and I'll show you some pictures of that on the back cavity here. And you've got full size pots back there in a very, very clean uh, control center there. Pots are very smooth, no scratching, no nothing. Nice taper. Wow.
nice. Okay, so I'm going to put a little thing here on the loop station, and uh, let's let's put some gruffness in it and see what we got with the little LS here. Here we go. Wow, I really like this guitar, folks. Um, it is very, very nice. Weight is next to nothing. I think it's just over six pounds. Here's the shot there. Uh, so very, very comfortable, very resonant. Nice neck, great color, great feel. Um, again, Firefly. Thumbs up to you guys. This is very, very nice, extremely affordable, and available on their website at www.guitarsgarden.com. 
Again, last I looked, which was yesterday, they were still available. Um, if you're in the market for anything close to this, anything that feels really, really cool and sounds great, the P90s on this are very nice, very clean, articulate. Uh, I would go out and grab you one while they're still there. Just a great guitar, folks. Uh, 200 bucks. So mine was all in, 226 uh, with shipping. So, wow. Not much can beat that out there at this price, guys. So, uh, so thumbs up to the folks at uh, Firebird Music, Firefly Guitars. Uh, very, very nice on the new FF. LS. Nice guitar. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up for today, folks. It's been fun. It's been real. Thank you so, so much for stopping in to all the subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you are still on the fence, however, and haven't subscribed to the channel, hey, that's right. Come on over to the good side. Would love to have you on board. Till next time, folks, it's Jimmy Stewart saying so long. Take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy, take care of each other, and we'll talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.